Hello Internet people! In this video I'll show you how you can improve your page load speed in WordPress by using a CDN. My website is pretty optimized already, but by using a CDN I was able to shave off 23% of the loading time on my home page. And at the end of the video I'll show you the actual loading speeds from the users in Google Analytics. I will use a service called Bunny CDN and they have a 14 day trial period. So it's super easy to get started with CDN and see if it works for you. And after this video, you won't need to make excuses for your slow website like this. You're late. Traffic. Tape sweat punch. All right, so today we're going to install a CDN. And just in short, CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. And all it means is normally you have your server. So let's say it's on SiteGround or GoDaddy and it's located in one of the places. Let's say it's in North America and your user comes from Europe to your site. That means there's a data that needs to go between the two, the server and the end user. So this takes X amount of time, obviously, because it actually has to physically travel the distance. What CDN does is actually it stores your website on different servers which are near your end user. So let's say if in this case you are, again, the user comes from Europe and CDN has also a server in Europe. So the physical distance between the user and the server is much shorter. So what happens is once you upload your, let's say your article, it gets distributed to all the servers and then all this secondary CDN servers, they serve the data to users close to them. And enough talk. My website is actually very optimized already. You can see that my homepage gets already 97, 91 on Google. In this video, I'll show you how to use this bunny CDN and why I like it is, well, it's very affordable. I think it's an easy way to start with CDN. And one thing that it doesn't have, it doesn't have a like a DDoS protection or any of that stuff that Cloudflare comes with. So this is a, a bit of a only CDN solution, but the prices are really, really affordable. It starts from $1 a month. So you need to spend that $1 at least. And then these are the prices for different regions. But I have a website with about 5,000 visitors a month and I would pay $1 still. So it really depends on what you serve. So if you serve videos, that will take a bit more bandwidth. But if it's just articles with images and, and things like that, it will be much less. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. I'm going to show you a plugin from Bunny CDN that you can just install and then it will work. And another way is through W3 Total Cache, which I really recommend you installing. And I have a video how to do that and it will appear on your screen now. And if you already have another cache plugin, then just check that if it has the CDN section. And if it does, then you have to install it through that and not the Bunny CDN plugin. Arnie, can you explain to audience what I just said? You are not you, you are me. No shit. So let's get started by creating an account in Bunny CDN. So let's click on login and then here sign up now. They provide a free trial for 14 days, so you can play around with it. So don't worry. So as you can see, you have 14 days and one terabyte of free trial. So that's great. So you can keep more of your money. Let's start with the Bunny CDN plugin. And so go to plugins, add new. And then just type in Bunny CDN. Install now. And you can see it here and it will appear on your menu here on left here, Bunny CDN. And the setup is super simple. You just need to get this pool zone name. So in Bunny CDN, what you need to do is actually create this pool zone. So create pool zone. So here, just add your domain name without the ending. So in my case, it's just punch salad so don't add the dot com or dot net whatever you have just add the domain part itself and here you can add full url and you can add 
the full URL like this. So if you have SSL, then just add that part as well. And I don't use the www. I always redirect it to none one. So that's what I'm going to put in. And then add pull zone. That's all you need to do. And while it's loading, you could take a nap like this guy. Don't worry, he's actually alive. So here's a few instructions how you can do. We're gonna use WordPress, so let's choose that one. So all we need to do is grab this one, copy, and then go back to, to your WordPress and here pull zone name, punch salad, enable bunny CDN. Okay, once you enabled the CDN, now we can test if it works. If you have caching plugin, then don't forget to purge all your cache. Let's do that. And then you can go to your website, refresh it. And then on your website, just right click on an image and inspect element. And it will open up this dev tools. And this is all your code and you should see an image and then you can see that the URL is actually not your website anymore. It's not your domain. It's bunny CDN like that. You can see that here, here it's set up, right? No shit. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. I'm actually using W3 Total Cache. And if you're using any caching plugin, you should install the CDN through the caching plugin. All right. So... I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and here on the left performance and then general settings. We're not going to go to CDN yet. And here, if you scroll down until you see CDN, you need to enable it and then change this to generic mirror here and then save all settings. And now Again, in this performance tab in the CDN, go click on that. And in this field, we need to add the host name and you can get it from Bunny CDN. Let's take a look where's the host name overview. And once you click on your just created domain name, here you have host name, just grab it, copy and paste it here and then save all settings and purge the cache nice and make sure here you can come here to purge and sometimes you'll need to also purge the cache in the bunny cdn so since i'm just setting it up i'm going to purge pull zone so i'm going to purge the whole thing purge it nice so now all the cache is cleared on my website and also in the CDN. So let's take a look. If I refresh the page and then if you right click on, for example, image, any image, and then select inspect element. And if you wait a little bit, it will open up this dev tools. And now you can see that your image is actually loaded from the bunny CDN network. And this means that it's actually working on the CDN. So let's take a look how did that impact the speed. It was about 2.6 seconds. So you can see here, I've shaved off almost half of my loading time and also some from my page size. And I'm really happy with this. My score is now in the green for both scores. And if I run this one, even that score went a little bit up. You can see on desktop, I'm now in the hundreds. On mobile, I'm 93 for my homepage. Okay, and I just want to show you some data on the speed after a week. So here I have a graph in Google Analytics. The blue line is basically the week with Bunny CDN, and the orange line is without it. So that's the previous week. So if you can, if you look here, you can see it actually here, we have a lot of red. So for example, the average page load time increased by 3.4%. I mean, here there's a bit decrease also for average response times. Um, so this, this kind of interesting. And then I started to dig a bit deeper and I looked at the countries and they're here where you can see the biggest differences. So you can see that the 
average loading time was actually got much better for us united kingdom canada australia but then for india it got much worse well that's interesting same thing for other asian countries and you can see europe is still all right brazil okay this is very low amount of data so this is something when you install uh, cdn no matter what it is bunny cdn or maybe cloudflare so make sure to double check the data from users so use some user data that actually shows you how fast is the website loading for them otherwise the tools are great but they're just there to help you they don't give you the right picture from your user's perspective my name is robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website get more traffic and other website related stuff make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything here are two videos that i think you should watch next Whoosh.